their kicks from a shadow position. So I'll do it from a couple different angles. So let's actually start from the angle where the woman's facing uh, back to the camera. And you're gonna, there's two ways you can get a woman into a cuddle position, basically. I think we're, right now we're in a hand chair. I do it in one, two, three. So that's the easier way. It's not as sharp a turn. She's turning on two and three. So again, it's in one, two, three. That's one way. I'm gonna do the, the harder way, the sharper way. It's and one, two, and then she turns on three. So that's a sharper turn. So let's do that again. And one, two, three, and you're in shadow position. Let's do that from another angle. So it's and one, two, three. Let's do that again. So we're in a handshake. It's and one, two, and a three, you come down, and you end up with your right hand over her shoulder like this. Your thumbs are down, guys. Women's thumbs are up. And, uh, okay, so your left thumb is actually to the side, and your left hand is by your, by your waist. Okay, so this is the position. This is the shadow position. So let's do that one more time from, from this angle. So it's in one, two, three. So now you're in this position, okay? Now normally, a good way to practice is you just get into this position, have a break back, and one, two, three, and send it right out. So a good practice to get this, getting in the step and out of the step, is just keep doing it again and again without having a kick. So it's and one, two, three. I make a break back, and one, two. Now I'm going to push down on her right hand to get her to turn. Three. So it's. And one, pull it in, two, turn her on three. Now make a break back. And one, two, I just sent her out and I push down to get her to turn. So let's do that again. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now let's do it from this angle. And this is just getting her in and out of the shadow position. And one, prep, turn her. And one, two, three. So I'm pushing against her right hand. Still the same push, pull, and hustle to get her to do that sharp turn. And one, pull her, turn her, make a break back, and one, and push to get her to turn. So now I'm going to add the kicks. So let's let's um, do it from this angle. So it's and one, two, three. Now she's here. She may you make her break back. For all she knows is she's going to get sent right back out. But you're not going to send her out. You're going to keep her here and have her do kicks. So you make her break back. And one, she starts going out. And what you do is you stop her with your right hand. And that makes her kick. See, I'm leading her with my left to get her to pivot to kick. And then I'm stopping her with my right. And that's the kick. Now I'm going to push with my right. Makes a step on her right foot. Keep leading her. She's pivoting. She's pivoting. And then I stop her with my left, and that gets her, gets her, gets her to kick her left hand. So that's what the kicks are. It's a pull and a stop. So I pull her, and then I stop her. So those are the kicks. Okay. So you're leading an action with one hand at a time. So if I wanted to kick with the right foot, I'm pulling on the frame of her left left side, and then I'm stopping her with my right hand, she's giving me a frame, she doesn't give me a frame, and she's not going to kick with my right hand. So it's a push and a stop. A push and a stop. And these are the kicks. Okay? And it's not rough, it's soft. Okay? And then the leader is just taking an A stance and he needs to be on the side. So it's kick, 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 kick. So those are the kicks. Okay? You have to practice this a lot to get it the right way. Now when I want to stop the kicks and I want her to Break back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it break back now. Here's where you're going to get her out of it. She's on the left foot. I'm going to overlead her to step back with the right foot. She steps back with the right foot. So I'm overleading her a little to get her to come back. Now her left foot is free. I'm going to overturn her by pulling on her left hand. And she's going to step around and try to step in a track and cross my path and one, two, three. Let's do that again, let's bring it here. So she's kicking right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. 
Now here, when her right leg is kicking, it's free. I'm going to overturn her to get her to break back. Now her left leg is free. I'm going to pivot her so she steps on her left foot. And her left foot needs to be in a track and pointed out. So the instep is going to be pointed towards the way she's going. So it's a sharp turn. Then she's stepping on her right, and then you're doing the same thing we're doing to get her out. Before the kicks, I'm pushing down on her right hand to get her to spin fast. So let's do that a couple of times. We're going to get it in and out of the kicks. So it's going to be and one, two, three, and one, kick, 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 slow, 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 bump, bump. Step, 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 step. And one, two, three. And one, kick, 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 pull her back, step, step, step. And one, two, three. And one, kick, 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 overturn. And let's do that one last angle. Let's do that from, um, from this angle. Actually, we did that from this angle. Let's do it from this angle, too. So, and one, two, three, and one, kick, 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 pull her back, 